Hey guys, welcome back to more Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. So, I managed to unlock one of the guard towers. Is this one over here? Um, I think. Or no, it wouldn't be that one because it's all grayed out. But there was one that was over in this area that I was able to take care of. Um, there's this copper chino thing. I'm thinking this is another, like, possible memory flashback similar to the Christina one. So, we're gonna see what the heck this is. Just because I was close to this. Who is this man? He comes from Russia. Oh, or maybe not. But his words are unlike any that issue from that place. Some may tell you to be content with Ptolemy's explanation of the heavens. His mathematical contortions of the spheres dancing around the earth. <laughs> but why are such complicated numbers required? Perhaps to disguise a myriad of contradictions. You must question bad logic. It is why we live, to ask questions. Kill him quickly. The master wants all the scholars silenced by nightfall. Ooh. If the Borgia are involved, then so am I. Okay, false censorship. Defend Copercino from the attack from the attacking Borgia guards. My to get full synchronization and take no damage from the ambush. Okay. Ooh. Come on. Oh, there's so many guards. Oop, yep. Ow. I'll do this in the time constraints. That is such a brutal... I don't know when he does that. Ooh. I don't know if I'll... If I do, I'll be cutting it very close. Here's another guard. Here come two more guards. Ah! Oh, yeah, no. I don't think this is gonna happen. Ugh. Oh, he died. Okay. I didn't do that very well. <laughs> of course. Of course. Okay. Here we go. Well, that takes so much time just doing it, like just doing that. I'm trying to be more like offensive instead of just countering and it's not doing much good. Ooh, I need to get I need to get this big guy. Ooh. Ooh. Hold on. Hold on. Why am I on my fists? Oh 
my goodness. They're taking so much freaking damage. This is why I don't do it this way. Okay, so we're back to doing this. Ooh. This is a pretty epic weapon. So that was a pretty epic weapon. I don't care that I didn't get full synchronization. That weapon was actually pretty awesome. Okay, drop the object. Niccolo Cappuccino, born in the city of Turun. Royal Prussia, which was actually a part of Poland and should not be confused with Ducal Prussia, Teutonic Prussia, or the much later West Prussia, Niccolo Copertino, aka Nicholas Copernic Copernicus, Com I don't know, was the youngest of four siblings. Although he seemed to be destined for the church, his brother was a priest and his sister was a nun. After all, Niccolo bucked the family trend to partake in a humanist education and become a priest. Okay, so at first he wasn't much of a rebel, instead enjoying the privileges granted by his upper class upbringing. He studied Aristotle, Ptolemy, and others at the University of Krakow. By the time he graduated, he spoke four languages, and while waiting to be appointed to his cannery in Warmia, a rebellious duchy within Poland, he journeyed to Italy to study law. However, rather than focusing on the canonical studies, he attended humanities lectures and began speaking about science and astronomy, notably leading a series of public lectures in Rome. Pope Alexander VI did not take kindly to him, and he left the city rather abruptly in 1501, but Cappuccino had discovered his passion. He was so enamored with his studies that he applied for a two-year extension of his time abroad to learn medicine in Padua. While there, he also became fluent in Greek and, many, and read many ancient texts. After graduating, he left Italy for good, finally arriving in Warmia to take on his duties. Working as the secretary to his uncle, the Bishop of Ormia, he found time to develop his astronomical theories on the side. He quickly wrote a rough version of his heliocentric theory and then spent his off hours for the next 30 years recording astral movements from an unknown tower using primitive instruments modeled on far more ancient ones. Although Carpaccino has been immortalized for his writings placing the sun at the center of the universe, his theories were not published until just before his death in 1543. Some believe his, he died as the first copy of his book was placed into his hands. Hi. He looks like Markiplier. Who <laughs> like are a you fancy Markiplier. Without cause? One who believes in freedom. Ezio Auditore da Firenze. Ezio. They call me Niccolò Copernico. Copernic. I have heard your name spoken at the Borgia Copernico. Court. But now I have proof that you truly exist. Il Vaticano welcomes you, yet you are under attack by its guards. You think me one of them? Truthfully, you would be right. Yesterday, I was a Templar. And today? The Templars wanted me to keep the findings of my experiments hidden, and that I cannot do. The Borgia hunt for you and your friends. My fellow scholars? The logic of such a purge escapes me. Find Copernico! But we will discuss reasoning later. Follow me. Oh. Okay, we have to defend him on the way back to wherever we're going. Help Copernico escape from the guards intent on hunting him down. I have to reach safety in under 3 minutes and 20 seconds for full synchronization. If I run, does he run? He does run! Oh, I went the wrong way. Sorry. East way. Excuse us. Ah, uh, this is still the wrong way. My bad, my dude. I don't know how to get out of here. <laughs> is that a dead end? Uh, we'll just keep going this way. 
I don't think this is what I want. I'm not gonna do this in under like the time limit because I have no idea how to get to where I need to go here. Okay, those guards did not. Oh. Never mind. I was gonna say these guards don't care. Yes, they do. Oh, I'm trying to hit dodge. Two of them. Let's do it. Hi, Moose. All right, let's keep going. I'm going to need more medicine eventually. I used quite a- ooh, could I actually grab yeah, some real quick? Hello. <laughs> Since I am here, actually, uh, yeah, heal now. Okay. I don't need poison because I never use it. Take care. Okay. Get the off your horse. <laughs> Sweet, that was smooth. That was smooth. <gasps> it backs! Hold on. I need the backs first. <laughs> Don't mind me. Oh, it's right here. Here you go. Follow me. Oh. You will be safe here. What of the other scholars? How do I know I can trust you? How do you know anything? Knowledge gathering is a dangerous enterprise. Easier to stay in place, learning nothing, than to risk in order to truly know. All right. Enlighten me. Take these letters to the scholars. They must be informed of the threat to their safety. Okay. <laughs> I feel like that took me... Of course it took me away from my objective. Um, it's a flag. I don't know what these... I think this is where I just was. The Palazzo Sanitario. I don't know what these do. But I'm going to go try and see. Okay, so it's another thing that you can buy. I didn't mean to call for my horse. Um, but it's really expensive. And I don't have enough money for it, <laughs> so that's gonna be a no from me. Okay. Um, let's see. I do want this bank and the blacksmith that are right next to my objective. So I'm gonna grab those and then we'll actually continue with the story. Alright, I have no idea. I don't remember at all what I'm supposed to be doing now, but... Uh. Machiavelli, we must talk. Yes, I secured something of great worth from one of my contacts. We now have the names of several Templar agents Cesare has recruited to terrorize Roma. How do I find them? I can give you a general location. I suggest looking for signs of distress nearby. Perhaps you will uncover citizens who can point you in the right direction. My contact will continue searching for more names. This information came from a city guard. Yes. How did you know? Lucky guess. Grazie. Claudia, Bartolomeo, and La Volpe are waiting for you inside. I can't imagine how you did it. Virtù, Machiavelli. Virtù? I still don't trust him. What have you discovered? That bastardo Cesare is in the Castel Sant'Angelo with the Pope. My spies tell me that the apple has been secreted to someone for a study. I am working on determining his identity. Caterina will be moved to the prison within the Castello next week. Bene. So the Castello it is. Roma will heal quickly with Cesare and Rodrigo gone. 
Only if the opportunity to assassinate them arises will I take it. Do not repeat your mistake in the vault. You must kill them now. I'm with Machiavelli, Ezio. We should not wait. Bartolomeo is right. They must pay for Mario's death. Do not worry. They will die. You have my word. Yes, because heaven forbid I try to give someone a chance. <laughs> okay. So what am I doing? This is my hideout? When did I get a hideout? Okay. Oh. Hi. Zerezio. I represent the combined resources of Bartolomeo del Viano, Claudio Auditore, and La Volpe. Through my associates spread across the city, you can channel okay, so your glories to any part of the underground like... you desire. Oh. You may have seen notices posted around Roma which allow you to purchase buildings. Income from your new tenants will be deposited with bookkeepers, as well as additional profit from renovations. Bookkeepers can be found throughout the city. Molto bene. Okay. I'm not sure what that changed. Like what that does. Memory synced. Sequence 3 is complete. Oh. Am I getting pulled? Am I getting pulled? <laughs> I am not getting pulled. I feel like this is the longest I've ever gone in game, like being Ezio and not getting pulled to be um, Desmond. But like it says, I think it's supposed to be up to me on if I get pulled to be Desmond. But like that just doesn't make sense to me. Where am I going? Where am I going? Oh, all the way over here. Yeah, of course. Okay. I want to try to unlock the, the stalls as I go across town. I've tried to locate where this doctor is. Cannot find it. Cannot, for the life of me, find where this doctor is. Um... So that one, I guess we're just going to have to ignore for now. But I'll work my way to this one. We'll probably unlock the stables, get this blacksmith. Um, try. I'm going to try to get the guard tower. And then we can do the objective. Is, is my goal. So there's actually one of these scholar missions right here. So we're actually going to do this. Um, find the scholar and deliver Copernico's letter before the guards kill him. So, find the scholar. Oh. I was really hoping he was close by. Okay. Do -do -do. Excuse me. Get out of my way. Would it have been faster to get back on my horse? Yeah. I should have done that. Where is this? Around the back, maybe? Here? Hello. Copernico sent me. Grazie. What? I'll feed you your own liver for that. Come on. I can't freaking see anything. I mean when they do those fixed camera angles. Sorry. I was trying to get this guy. 
I'm focused on this guy. Why the heck did he attack a civilian? I'm so sorry, lady. Why would it do it like that if I was locked onto the one guy? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, of course that took me further away from where I need to be. <laughs> of course it did. Of course it did. So I finally got this stupid tower. Um, this is the one that I've been... I, this is one of the ones that I've been struggling with for a really freaking long time. Um, so I'm so glad that I finally got it. Uh, and it was like pretty much just luck that I was able to reach the captain in order to be able to assassinate him but that was rough okay ignite the tower Woo -woo. okay there we go there we go and the memory start or the Next checkpoint is just, just over here. There it is. Actually, because this is where I went in, was where this brother is standing is actually right up there. And I just ran at him. I was like, screw this. And I had to be careful when I was skirting the building, trying to find a good way in, not to trigger the memory start. Who's, oh, I was gonna say, who's the blonde lady? Salve cittadini di Roma. Behold a sight most splendid. Oh, she's got her nails Storza. painted, her toes she painted red. of Forli has at last been brought to heel. Ha! No one kneels as low as Lucrezia Borgia. Who put you up to this? Was it your brother or your father? Perhaps a bit of both? Perhaps at the same time? Chiudi la bocca! None speak ill of the Borgia! The same will happen to any who defy us. Good people of Roma! Stay strong! You will be free! Your time will come! I swear it! Go get your lover. Go get you your lover. You are here for Cesare and Rodrigo. Katarina is a powerful ally. If we help her now while she is weak, she will aid us in return. Perhaps. But kill Cesare and Rodrigo first. No. I don't like you. I don't like you. I don't want to do what you want me to do. I don't trust this man at all. Infiltrate Castel Santa Angel. Can I say no and go after her anyways? <laughs> I won't. So I don't want to risk like seriously screwing it up for myself, but just freaking assassinate you. Oh, okay. I can't even cross the freaking bridge. Yeah. Call the horse. Oh, horsey! I feel like this is actually the most progress I've made in a really long time playing this. Hey, hey! Yeah, I no longer care if I'm running people over. Ooh, I might have to swim across. I don't know where I can climb up though. How do I get across if I can't cross that bridge? Can I just ride across the bridge and then like hide from them? <laughs> I might just do that. Develop, or um, not develop, but once again hone that screw it tactic and just ride. I'm riding. Watch out, people. Watch out. I'm over. I don't know what to do now. I probably need to get off the horse. Okay. This isn't even where I need to be. Like, this is... I'm at the edge of, like, where I can go. I'm gonna, my horse is gonna get... cut down. This didn't even get me where I need to go. What was the, like, the point of this? I need over there. 
No, come on. Get up. No. Ezio. That is not what I wanted. That does not help me. Get up. Before you get freaking pelted with stones. No. God damn it. This does not help me. How am I supposed to get out of the frickin' water when you do that? How is this supposed to do anything for me? Oh, there's a... Um, a glyph around here somewhere. Did we get the one on the... Um, oh, this guy's gonna see me. Yep. You don't see me. No, did we get the one that was on the thingamajig- the prostitution house? Well, I'm here now, what? Oh. Sorry, right, my neighbors, so they have a King Charles Spaniel that they've been wanting to breed for the longest time because um, they want puppies. And, oh, no, never mind. I was really hoping because she, she sent me a picture of a coffee cup and the dog in the car. And I was like, ooh, are they finally, did they finally find a stud? They did not. Okay, anyways, where am I going now? This place is freaking crawling with guards. I probably just need to, again, screw it! Screw it, tactic! You. Okay, this weapon is not as good as that axe. Oh my god, he is magic! Where are you going? Really? Oh, they- no, she is! They are! She said that they, she was on an outing with the dog, but now she just said- Oh my goodness. That's actually really exciting. I'm so excited because that means I get to see... I get to snuggle with puppies! Because I end up dog sitting for these neighbors a lot. I'm so excited. Forget the Pope, you only answer to me. Roma is the pillar that holds our entire enterprise aloft. She cannot waver, which means neither can you. What of Il Vaticano? That tired old man's club. Play along for now, but soon we will have no need of them. She's left us Roma. She'll be in good hands. Okay. So what am I doing? So where's my where's my HUD? Where's my heads up display? How do I get around? How do I get in? I can't scale these freaking fences. Here, can I climb this door? That is all I can do. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, here. Here, maybe? Press X to assassinate from a ledge. I can do that. That was not what I was supposed to do. 
That's not at all what I was supposed to do. Fall down there where all the other guards can find you. Ugh. Not it coming out of the wall. Hello. some interesting music they got playing right now. <coughs> Strong fingers. Strong fingers. Keep going. Yeah, like the chanting? I'm not sure I'm here for the chanting. Cesare. Lucrezia. Wait, aren't they brother and sister? I hope you have treated our guest with kindness. I've got a mouth on her. How I'd love to sew it shut. I'd rather like it open myself. Oh. <laughs> have you talked to the Pope about the funds requested by my banker? He is away from the castello. And he might need some convincing when he returns. That shouldn't be a problem, should it? No. Only it gets quite lonely here. You and I spend so little time together these days, busy as you are with your other conquests. Soon. Once I have secured the throne of Italia, you are going to be my queen. And your loneliness will be a thing of the past. I cannot wait. Behave yourself while I am gone. Hmm. They're siblings, right? Or am I completely mistaken in thinking that? <laughs> Lucrezia Borgia. Raised from childhood to be a pawn in her father's schemes, Lucrezia was married three times to serve the Pope's interests. The first marriage occurred when she was only 13 to Giovanni Sforza to help further the papal return, re return relationship with Milan. But when the Pope turned against Milan, he had no further use for the marriage. Cesare threatened to have Giovanni murdered and he fled. In order to annul the marriage, the Pope ultimately had Giovanni declared impotent. With that marriage deflated, the Pope is free to set up another one, this time to Alfonso of Aragon, cementing a partnership with Naples. Cesare hated the 19-year-old Alfonso for taking Lucrezia's attentions away from him, and in 1500, he stabbed Alfonso. Despite receiving several serious wounds, Alfonso didn't die. He miraculously recovered over the following weeks. Once he had done the impossible and risen from bed, Cesare instructed Mike Micheletto to strangle him. Lucrezia was thrown out of the room, and while she ran to the Pope to ask for help, Alfonso was murdered. Note, this was not the first time Cesare had killed a man connected to Lucrezia. He had drowned Pedro Calderon, the papal chamberlain, in 1498 for getting close to her. Lucrezia's third husband, another Alfonso, Alfonso d'Este, was very reluctant to marry her, understandably, but the Pope's strategy for central Italy required that he cement relations with Ferrera. So he paid Alfonso's father, Ercole, the Duke of Ferrara, 300,000 ducats, along with other privileges to secure the match. The, true, the two were married, but they weren't exclusive. Lucrezia slept with the poet Bembo and Francesco II of Gonzaga. The relationship ended when Francesco developed syphilis. <laughs> Ooh. Lucrezia died from complications, giving birth to her eighth child in 1519. What about those other seven children, you may ask? Find out next week on Romance Gone Wrong. Oh, no. Okay, so Alfonso... I still don't know. No, 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 no. Frick. What was that? What was that? What just happened?
Oh my goodness. That was ridiculous. No, oh, come on. I need you to, like, drop down. Drop down. No, gosh, dang it. Ezio, I don't think you can make- Oh, never mind, you can make that jump. Looks like it's right underneath me, but it's not. Open the gate! The Captain General is leaving for Urbino! Buona fortuna, Padre Cesare! Machiarelli is going to be very disappointed. You're not? Okay. No, 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 no! God damn it, Ezio! Are you serious right now? God. That is so frustrating when he does that. Nope. And I'm not gonna have enough freaking medicine for all of this. Okay, apparently I can't climb this. I'm going inside. <laughs> We're going inside. Stop! Would you stop? Turn around and run. This doesn't help me. <laughs> this isn't helping me. I'm simply cornering myself. That, yeah. No, that did not help. I'm just gonna let them kill me and see where it reloads me. That freaking frustrating. We were doing so well, too. We were doing so well. And then we fell and it, uh. yeah, I'm just letting it happen. It is what it is. Come on. I am really holding out here. Oh my god. There we go. Took forever. Okay. Where are you gonna put me? Where are we starting? Aha. Okay. So I have to catch myself here. Open the gate! The Captain General is leaving for Urbino! Buona fortuna, Padre Cesare! Machiavelli is going to be very disappointed. No! God damn it! Why? I can't even make it one video without getting frustrated with the freaking parkour. Why am I down here? Why am I all the way down here? You're kidding me, right? Did it start me all the way over? Did it actually- it didn't. Tell me- Are you serious? I have to do all of this again? Ooh, this might result in me freaking rage quitting. Get it. Nanato, we're losing him. Get Come on. I have to do all of this again. I've got the rap. They're gonna Oh, 
open her cell. How was the journey to Roma? Did you sit in Cesare's private carriage? You're pathetic, Lucrezia. What did he talk about? His plans for Napoli? Did you like it? I can't remember. Perhaps you will remember this. Ah! That puts you in your place. Lock it and give me the key. I finally caught up to where I was need where I needed to be, but I had to walk away. I walked away. I could not. I couldn't. I and I actually didn't intentionally walk away either. Um, like I had to run downstairs for something, and then next thing I know, I've been gone for a little bit. But it was enough to calm me down. I was. Man, and I know like it was my doing to go back to that checkpoint, but at the same time, I had to reset because of just. Ugh. Anyways, we're just gonna not gonna talk about it. I'm just gonna leave it alone. Leave it be. I don't want to be seen. So I'm hoping to like get to Katarina and that'll probably be where we end the video. Where am I trying to get to? Got anything good for me? Pat down your butt. Throwing knives. Oh, don't need throwing knives. Okay, uh, which way am I going? I don't think this was right. No. I mean, it makes sense that this is where I need to go. <laughs> oh, my back. Please, can you reach this water jug for me? I cannot get it myself. Anything else I can reach, princess? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha Can I loot your- Oh, I can't loot the bodies. What are you doing here? Paying a visit to the tailor. <laughs> Rescuing me will provoke Cesare's wrath. Fortunately for us, he is away. Any chance there is a second key? The guard handed his to Lucrezia. So I assume not. Do you know where she is? Her quarters are at the top of the castello. All right, stay here. That key is as good as mine. I'm not going anywhere. Okay. So that is where we're going to leave it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Again, I feel like this is probably the part where I've made the most... Um, progress but like oh that just a few minutes ago <laughs> okay but anyways uh thank you guys so much for watching my sims channel my twitter both linked down in the description below if you'd like to check either of those out uh i also have been playing poppy playtime chapter three the first hopefully half went up this past Saturday, and then the second half, hopefully finishing up the game, will be this upcoming Saturday. So if you've been waiting for that, it is coming. Uh, and yeah, thank you guys, and I will see you guys all with in my next video. <laughs> Bye, guys.